everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We have been on kind of an unprecedented winning streak for me. We still have stuff to do though. Lazarus needs a boss rush kill and a lamb kill. Eve needs a lamb kill. Blue Baby needs a lamb kill. And Maggie needs a boss rush and a lamb kill. So I'm gonna go um, Maggie. I think it's been a little while, sort of. Maybe not that long. Here's our seed. B626. The number of the beast's ants. JB8H. Justin Bieber. Eight. Hockey pucks. That's how he uh, trained his voice. Let's begin. That is triple shot right off the bat. I... This is just my ideal start. Sure, there are better starts, you know. You could have uh, Polyphemus or something like that. You could just walk in here and get Mom's Knife. But I love Triple Shot because it gets the imagination going, you know? It's like a little, uh... It's like Christmas Eve night when you're a, a young child. And then you, you are just... Your brain's buzzing with all the stuff that, you know, you're fiscally unable to provide for yourself, but desperately want nonetheless. That you will receive potentially in the morning. Anyway. We'll move along here. It means basically there are, uh several different kinds of synergy that I would be excited to see. Mom's knife, triple mom's knife. Brimstone, triple brimstone. Anything, triple it, pretty much. Uh, more money? Well, we don't, we're not tripling that, okay? Don't get ahead of yourself. I feel like it's a poor Landia sketch right now. Mom's knife? We can triple that, all right. I like poor Landia. Um, I've got to admit, I, I, I uh, you know, I live in Vancouver, maybe it's a little bit of a stereotype, but I do kind of look at, at Portland, Oregon as like our cool, weird, you know, southern neighbors, kind of, like our downstairs neighbors. I've never been, so pretty much I'm just talking out of my ass. I would like to go, even though, you know, I don't ride a, a penny-farthing bicycle or uh, something like that. I wonder, there, there's like legitimate, not that that's illegitimate or anything like that, but there's like, there's gotta be business people in Portland who maybe like resent that stereotype, right? I don't know. Every place has stereotypes, but every every place has normal people. I mean, there's like this David Cross bit about how like, you know, the redneck accent is so pervasive. There's rednecks in Vancouver, man, all the time. Be at the convenience store. Rednecks, that's alright. You know, it's a city of four million people and, you know, pretty futuristic and urban and stuff like that. But if you would, if you want to live your life as a redneck, that's cool, man. And I, I mean that sincerely, not just like, hey, you can make your own mistakes. I, oh, this is the first time we fought Steven? That's funny. Um, well, he's similar enough to the... Uh, Vanilla fight that I didn't even notice. Great, uh, great job there. Walk on the spikes. Need to get Callus back. But yeah, you know, there's there's weirdos in uh, Vancouver as well, of course. Many. There's weirdos in the small towns that I uh, grew up in when I was a little bit younger. Everybody is everybody, man. That doesn't make any sense. Ignore what I just said. I'm gonna go one more. Oh, you dick fucker. All right, let's move along here. I gotta say though, I do like uh, I like living on the West Coast, and I, there's this you know some. T I'm extremely mad at myself right now. There's a little bit of a uh, pseudo serious, but mostly joking West Coast East Coast rivalry. Not in the rap game necessarily, but uh, you know between like Josh and Nick and myself, you say West Coast, Best Coast, East Coast, uh, even better. Well, first off, West Coast is better because East Coast just doesn't rhyme with like anything. East Coast, Beast Coast, what the fuck does that even mean? Sounds like you're gonna have to fight off wild animals just to, you know, go eat lunch or something like that. But I like the West Coast because, I gotta be honest with you, people do feel more laid back, and I think it's because of, like, Pacific Standard Time, you know, being three hours behind the clock, or behind Eastern Time, you know, it means when, like, the, the stock market opens up or something like that, unless you're getting up at 6 a.m. Pacific Time to watch the stock market, by the time you wake up, day's already kind of like half over or something like that. Not just stock market, but, like, news and stuff like that. You know, you gotta kind of learn to be more laid back, because you're never gonna be the first person to uh, to discover news, unless it breaks at like 2 a.m. Pacific or uh, Eastern time. So I think you wake up and you're like, "What's in? What's in? What's olds, man?" Because it's not news anymore. Get it? It's like, "What's what's new in the olds?" And then, you know, this joke just meanders and never has, has an end point. But that's that's kind of why I like it. That and the sushi. But anyway. I need some red hearts, but Yum Heart will uh, accomplish that. Anarchist Cookbook is straight up trashed here. Uh, I know that's my go-to phrase when I pick this up. That was a really fortunate chest for us. Um, yeah, it's my go-to phrase when I pick it up, but it's the it's the dang truth, Bobby. We 
are probably never going to use that item effectively in our entire lives. Now, this is a big deal for us. This floor, as it did in vanilla, the second floor, oftentimes sets the tone for the entire run. What we need to do is not take damage against this boss, snag a deal with the devil, and uh, then hopefully it's a high damage deal. It gives us a lot of potential uh, upside. I think we're going to be able to do it. Pin is annoying, but not really that much of a, a credible threat. So we're at like oh, already uh, over 50%. Yeah, this is going to be fine. If we didn't have triple shot, you know, it would be kind of like a little bit more of a war of attrition type thing where Pin would take a, a lot longer to kill and thus would put us at greater risk. But this went totally fine. Uh, we get the tick, which I don't really want. I want that spirit heart, though. Justice is great as well. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, thank you. Thank you for staying open. Oh, thank you. Okay, we're in. <laughs> it's not one yet, but we do have triple knife. That seems to happen to us a lot. So we've got it started at least. We've got a good potential uh, thing going on here. We're going to use our justice card. Thank you for giving me that spirit heart, by the way. Now, a lot of people might be wondering, why not take the tick? You know, you, you don't need the... The, the Polaroid is now, uh, no longer a, um, a trinket, so you can afford to take the tick. And the truth is, the tick is actually a pretty good uh, trinket as far as trinkets go. Basically gives you some lifesteal on the boss, and being able to take some of the boss's HP off automatically is really, really nice. Uh, but, I like having flexibility, you know? Freedom, is, uh, freedom isn't free, it costs a buck oh five. I'm gonna be happy to pay my buck of five to make that happen. So the sun card is, um... It's fine. It's something we'll use in the future. It's not really immediately useful for us, but that's fine. With golden keys, we might as well check this out. I really wish we had petrified poop, but we'll probably still get a little bit of money out of this. I love this, like, Edward Scissorhands, like, little mom's knife hit here. Like, we're just spreading our fingers out or something like that. Okay. There should be a golden bomb that is like, uh, hey man, there should be a golden bomb, and then it gives you, like, unlimited bombs. Well, of course we have to buy a uh, red candle. Flame on! It's red candle is blue candle. All is forgiven. We have mom's knife blue candle. It probably does less damage. I, I really would be surprised if blue candle made it into, well, let's just start calling it red candle. If the candle made it into uh, rebirth without getting nerfed, I would be amazed. But also, I'm very excited about this. We got this item. We just unlocked it. So, I mean, that seems to be the case in rebirth. When you unlock an item, it seems like there's a really good chance that you'll get it on the next floor or on the next run. Let's see how much damage it does. Which is, uh, it still does good damage. Which is actually great for me, because what was the item we unlocked on our last run? Faith. Wait, fate, sorry. Well, I guess it would be nice if you could properly pronounce my name. Okay. That's bad damage. That's okay. So the other thing that, oh, okay. Our range is shit, but we're still in such a good position. The other thing that's awesome about Red Candle here is that it's actually creating fires. I've talked about this a little bit with um, the fire bombs. Uh, uh. Talked about this a little bit with fire bombs, but uh, creating those fires is super useful because it really does do an f ton of damage to any enemy that goes into it. It's almost like a like a like a permanent blue candle kind of setup, which is really nice. I wonder if there is a blue candle. I mean, we've already seen two different kinds. I wouldn't be surprised maybe if there was more. I don't think this will work. The tears upgrade is nice, but um, I really wish that uh, we shot like little miniature mom's knives out of our knives when they landed. Yeah, they don't. The tears upgrade is okay though, it's worth the key. We need more tears upgrades if possible because it's taken a long time to charge our shot to the point where it's actually usable. That being said, it also does like a stupid amount of damage when it actually lands, so I can't really complain too hard about the whole situation. But that has never stopped me before. Just a little scary there. Wanted to pay attention. May not be able to get something from our shop here, but that's okay too. Hello, peep. And it's uh, it's shitty, peep. I don't like this, peep. But we got through it very easily. In fact, we almost one-shot it. We're not quite there yet. That's a tears upgrade, and actually the evil upgrade is very useful as well. You know what's great about this is that we actually need a boss rush kill 
as Maggie, and this seems like super conceivable that we can make it happen on this triple shot mom's knife run. Have we ever had a legitimately earned mom's knife that wasn't triple shotted by the end of the run? This is like the third or fourth time we've had this. It's it's kind of silly. I love it though. It does carry a penalty. You know, it's the same with the uh, like multiple shots in Brimstone. It gives you a bonus, but it also gives you a penalty. The penalty in our case is a much longer charge time, but honestly, it makes it feel a little bit more like the mom's knife of old, which uh, helps me out a little bit here. Because I'm still not used to the, the new range on mom's knife, which is kind of incredibly large. Alrighty. More than enough keys to access our item room, so I'm happy to have... Oh, these guys can now jump out of their moorings. I'm not the biggest fan of that. That's flush. So flush turns all enemies on a room into poop. It's basically like a weird death card. I think flush is great if you have, uh, well, all basic enemies. It doesn't turn like bosses or anything like that. But um, I think if you had uh, petrified poop, flush could be like one of the best cards in the game. Or one of the best items in the game. I am going to open this. I regret it. Uh, but if you don't have a... Uh, if you don't have it, I think it's kind of not that good, at least in the face of other items here like, uh, well, like Red Candle, which is probably substantially better for us. That's money, but I don't think I'm really worried about getting to the shop on this floor. We haven't explored probably as much as we might like, but we've been going pretty quickly. Hollow, super easy, and immediately I take damage. Let's try to stay a little further away. That was a great uh, Red Candle shot. It actually did end up working out, so I feel like an idiot for poo-pooing myself earlier. What do we got? Flying. Krampus. Lump of coal. I mean, we effectively cannot even shoot like two feet in front of our face, but sure, I'll take it. We are rushing a little bit here. I'll be, uh, we're only ten minutes in, and we're going to kill bosses so quickly. I'll, I'll tell you what. We'll give it a try and try to get to the shop, because I, I do, uh, as much as I love this run right now, we're missing something. We're missing uh, a healthy supply of consumables, and it would be really nice to get uh, something that gives us a little bit more HP from the shop. I don't know. What gives us more HP from the shop? I'm thinking something like uh, PhD. I, we can't really get value out of Converter. I saw a comment that was like, I think Northern Lion overrates Converter uh, in, in light of the HP cap. And to be honest with you, I think you might be right. I think I may indeed overrate the Converter. Let's move along here, though. See if we can get a little bit of money. We can probably afford to spend as long as we'd like on this floor. See if maybe we can bomb our way into the curse room for free. It's always nice when that works out and always a little disappointing when it doesn't. But secret rooms are less uh, uniformly useful. They used to be, you know, kind of like third in line for your float shard, you know? Well, maybe fourth. Item room, shop, boss slash devil room, and then you would look for the secret rooms to try to get money to make your shop worthwhile. Um, no longer is that the case. They tend to be a little bit less uh, useful now. Uniformly, at least. Wow, that was terrible. I didn't know that guy was going to explode. You know what? I'm okay with losing my spirit heart. Let's let's move along here. Okay. Okay. I don't love it. Now, we do still have this sun card. That gives us a lot of survivability, but... I don't know. We're in uh, not a one place, but damage-wise... I'm trying to think. It's like we're a heavyweight boxer right now. If we go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, we're going to knock out almost everyone we face in one punch. Or... There is HP down here. Uh, or shortly, at least. We're going to knock out almost everyone we face shortly. I'm not going to go to our shop because I am missing uh, the one cent key here. That was really smart of me. I feel really good about myself after that. Um, but if we end up getting into like a, a long, drawn-out kind of endurance type thing, we're going to be in a tougher spot because we can't really take too many punches. But I still feel like I would rather be in this position than, than restart this run. No question about it. Like, this is a mom's knife triple shot red candle. We've got incredible offensive potential. It's very often that that is not the case. And it's not that hard for us to get back to full health. That was a little scary. Lots of champions. I mean, that's, that's a result of having purple heart, I think. Oh. When attacking enemies at range, I should probably be a little bit more uh, open to using Red Candle. I'm not using it as much as I probably should. 
Like that worked out pretty well. I guess the more damage the fire does to enemies, the less uh, it kind of sits on the ground afterwards. I have no idea how Broken Mirror will even work here. Yeah, it doesn't work at all. Which is good, actually. Good. I am in the market for a better trinket. Purple Heart is one of those ones that I sort of don't get, really. I mean, I get it, like I know what it does. But I kind of would prefer something with like a more demonstrably, objectively good impact. Let's see if we can get into our curse room for free. We got the bombs for it for now. Yeah, okay. Lucky us, and actually I don't mind fighting greed at all. This will make our shop very easily worthwhile. You know what we could really use on this run right now is actually a speed upgrade. Normally I wouldn't care, but uh, a speed upgrade would go a long way here. Okay. Unfortunately, just like last run, Deal with the Devil seems kind of shitty here. Well, we did get Mom's Knife. So Guppy's Paw is a pretty good start here. I'm not going to take it with us because Red Candle is just too good. But we could become Guppy, and if we became Guppy, our tears would be nightmarish. Not to mention we would be doing... Uh, well, we'd have the ability to fly, which would be another good start as well. Alright, we're at 28 cents. More than enough money to make our shop worthwhile. Now just wait for that guy to come up here. I mean, both of our items right now, our active item and our uh, our tier effect, are super good for taking out enemies like this. Lots of big rooms, I don't love that. And this is definitely, uh, w maybe the most powerful offensively, uh, at least, Maggie run we've ever had. So, I'm, I'm definitely going to try to make boss rush work for us here. That was bad damage. I'll own up to that. That was worse, actually. Uh, yeah, I'll try to make Boss Rush work for us on this one, because if it doesn't work for us on this one, it might be a little while before we have a, a run that I'm as confident uh, about. Okay, let's see what we got going on. Portable slot. <laughs> it's so not worth it. Uh, let's move along. I mean, portable slot might be worth it, but it's not worth it for my play style. Which is a polite way of saying I, I hate gambling, still. So that's not going to do anything, but I think it was worth firing. Like, really, really would welcome some tiers upgrades. Because we are slow when it comes to charging our shot to max range. And I don't even care that we took red heart damage there, because it's not like our deal with the devil was good anyway. We can always go back for more red hearts. We have this sun card, of course, you, you know the deal. The longer we wait on the sun card, the, the better it is for us. I'll take petrified poop. I mean, we could use this to synergize, well we can't actually because we left that floor, but we theoretically could have used this to synergize with Flush, but uh, I still would have stuck with Red Candle. Bend to item room, bend to our shop. I'm going to guess this is probably the right way to go. That's the problem with the... Uh... Eh? Really? That's the problem with the uh, Red Candle is these guys just completely move out of the way. Easy. All right, we got to be uh, making a move on here. This is only Necropolis 1. We're actually kind of in a, a tight spot for time. The good news is we do a stupid amount of damage to every boss and, you know, enemy that we come across. That was, for example, <laughs> you know, that right there. And we get Squeezy, which is great. A Tears Upgrade and some Spirit Hearts to protect us. We know what we have in here, right? Just crap items. Yeah, Razor Blade and Book of Belial. I mean, Book of Belial would help us do a lot more damage, but we don't need it. And uh, I think the Red Candle pretty much accomplishes the same effect, except we can use it every room. We've got four minutes. That was a weird Ultra Prid right there. Um, Petrified Poop is fine. I'm going to choose to go with the left hand, though. More Guppy items, more Spirit Hearts. Uh, and yeah, this is definitely worth it, I think. But we do have to get a move on here. We gotta go a little faster. Probably. I would even sacrifice... Oh, snap. Guppy item. Uh, I would even sacrifice going to either our, uh, shop or item room to go to our boss room quickly. Yeah, I... Because the boss rush room, I mean, we, we have a choice of items in there. And now that I actually know what these items do, it might be a little bit better for me to make a, a well-informed decision, you know? So there's our shop. Let's check it out. Converter. I don't think even converter is worth buying here, honestly. I will gamble, or uh, donate, which is easy. I'm hoping for guppy items at this point. Obviously. That was super not worth it. You know what? I will... Okay. Because we don't need the money anymore, I'll buy Converter. 
And then I'll pick up our Spirit Heart to protect us as well. You know, Red Hearts are a little bit more permanent at this stage in the game at least. All right. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, that's a deal with the devil. Those are not guppy items, though. Uh, Satanic Bible is pretty good, as is the shadow, but I'm just going to stick with what we got. I made, you know, I'll admit that was a, a rash decision there. But I think it is the right decision. Our HP is somewhat precious to us right now. We should go back for that key. Uh, okay, you know what? We can look for our item room. It's a shame I can't teleport out, but, and it's a shame my speed is so low. But I think we have at least a minute to look for our item room, so I'll give it a shot. This is obviously not going to do it. It's alright. I don't really mind losing the spirit heart, to be honest with you. The penny is meaningless. Just, you know, focus on what has value in your life right now. Done. 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 Okay, this is it. I'm breathing a little bit of a sigh of relief here. We're going to be in time. Yeah, sure. Chemical peel. I'm glad we did it. We're going to be well in time here. Uh, really just hoping for HP at this point, to be honest with you. We could even do a little bit more exploration. I don't want to open that like two-key room. Let's just not uh, mess with it too much right now. We're very slow. Yeah, that is not a surprise to me. But at the same time, I'm not that disappointed about it either. Alright, I wonder if Red Candle actually works the same way Blue Candle did. It does not, which is good. Alright, we're taking the Polaroid. Forget the deal with... We're not supposed to take the Polaroid, we're supposed to take the lamb! Oh! Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, or we were supposed to take the negative. I wonder if we can still do it somehow. Well, that's a bad force of habit. At the very least, we're gonna get Boss Rush mode. So we, also, this is the coolest synergy of all time right now. We have uh, triple shot plus Loki's horns, which means that every time we fire, there's a chance that we fire four knives out in three, in four different directions here. But those four knives also split into three knives when they fire. This is cool. So all's not lost, you know, I, I'm sorry that I made a truly terrible mistake here. Again, uh, I, I try to, you know, defend myself a little bit here. This is how you learn in, in Isaac, you know, I'm never gonna be, uh, I'm never gonna make every decision right the first time. But I really should have gone for the lamb kill. But we might still be able to get it, I don't know, if maybe we get like a deal with the devil on the... If we go to Shoal and get a deal with the devil? Should I just go to the chest? I don't know, I should probably go to Shoal and see if it works. So I'm like very not concerned about our HP here. And we're gonna unlock a new item. Like just by, uh... Just by doing this room right here, we're gonna unlock a new item. Which is good, even if I do feel like an idiot. Don't act like you've never made a mistake like that before. But you know, this is what I, like an episode ago, I was like, you know... Cursed Eye is not really the best for me. Because I am not really known for my, uh, you know, deliberate gameplay, you know? I have, a, I have a tendency to be a little bit impulsive and just take things too quickly. Not really put too much care into my, uh, my work. That's, that's pretty much what we, uh, what we suffered from right there. Monstro 2, how are you, like, still... Yeah, I was gonna say, your HP should be gone. So I'm pretty much not worrying about the damage that we're taking at all. I'm also not using our, uh... Our red flame at all. There's just so many... Options here for items to pick up. We will get one item for finishing this off as well. Get some spirit hearts. I don't give a shit about the Mask of Infamy. I'm gonna avoid picking up those spirit hearts for now. Because it's basically free HP for us later. We're almost done with this boss rush room already, which is... Very good. There's a third spirit heart. We're actually... Like, one of the weird things about the boss rush room is that... Oftentimes, I actually feel like the boss rush room makes it a little easier. Like, you, you actually oftentimes gain HP on it. Okay. I'm really liking this Loki's Horn Bomb's Knife triple shot synergy, though. I gotta admit. I did pick up one of the spirit hearts. Let's try not to lose that now. Uh, and then I walk over the creep immediately. Long range enemies. We should try maybe using Red Candle, but a little overwhelmed with all the stuff going on right now. Yeah, there goes their spirit heart. And we got Maggie's bow, and honestly, Dry Baby is like a pretty good haul here. 
Any other spirit hearts I'm missing? There's some red hearts, there's a little bit of money. Uh, I think that's it though. I'm still pleased with this run even though I'm an idiot. Did I even, I did look at the seed here. All right, down to the next floor. And let's take some coffee. So I'll be trying to do a shoal run here. Oh, this is so worth it. The goat head actually gives us a chance, doesn't it? To go to the lamb? Because we'll get that guaranteed deal with the devil? I think it might. All right, so let's not get despondent yet. I'm, I'm kind of throwing some HP away here. Yeah, let's, let's be good here. So we're guaranteed some deals with the devil. Let's enjoy them. Not many bombs, not a whole lot of keys. But we don't need keys if we're going dark room. Honestly, oh, that was really bad. Come on. I do feel like we should go to the curse room. Yeah, okay. So it was worth it. In a way. <laughs> There are some red hearts back there that I can get. I was really banking on the whole Guppy dream coming true there. I mean, if we do become Guppy, our run which, oh, thank you, Dry Baby. Our run which already looks good is uh, that much better, of course. I can't even imagine how much damage our, our flies would do. These guys are the brimstone ones. Okay, that's fine. Oh my god, I, I blew that one really hard. Shoot it diagonally, you asshole! Good. Okay, so we're one HP away from what is full health for us. Boss room is right there. This is really good. Wow, did you see that, like, turned on a dime there? I'm amazed. A little disappointed, but amazed, mostly. Baby, I'm amazed by the way you defy the laws of physics. Speed upgrade. We could use that, actually. Truth be told. Man, I do not think it's worth one red heart for a headless baby at this point. We'll head down to the next floor, and we're going shoal in the hopes that we can still eke out a lamb kill. Sorry, I, uh, I punched my microphone with my coffee cup there. That's addiction right there. Um, we, uh, we have Curse of the Blind, which honestly is not so bad. Unless, the only way this backfires on us is if we... Pick up an item from a red chest, we don't know what it is, and it ends up being nine lives. Because it could be Guppy's head, which would be ideal, or it could be nine lives. Which would probably still be good, but it would lower our HP somewhat drastically. So it's a bit, it, it would prevent us from making a reasoned decision. Not loving bad trip there, but that's okay. We will uh, put a bomb down here, could get something good. Ooh, blood clot, free damage, and uh, the extra range won't hurt either. Wanna pop up or something, mate? Thank you. Uh, yeah, that's why uh, that's why you blow those up sometimes, but I'll be straight with you, we got super lucky. Who needs a halo of flies when you have a halo of knives? This is pretty awesome. Even though it rarely shoots for us, I mean, it doesn't really matter because we're very rarely trying to shoot enemies that are directly behind us anyway. Uh, I gotta try, right? That is not a guppy item. In a way, I'm almost a little bit relieved, to be honest with you. Okay, that's good to know that it's there. One bomb to get back to decent health. We'll take advantage of that. Yes, we will. Okay, we're gonna fight Mom's Heart. I think we're in a pretty good position in which to do so. We're slow, and we can't fly yet. These are our major concerns. These are the major concerns of the Starship Enterprise. Bad damage, but the fire breaks the shots. Yeah, yeah, that's good enough. We're back to full health. So we're heading down to Shoal, even though I have no idea if this is actually gonna work for us. I certainly hope that it does. If we just get a Satan kill, I mean, I'll be a little disappointed. I can't lie about it because it was just a stupid uh, decision on my part that led to that. But, you know, it is what it is. Oh, you dick muncher. I didn't think you'd be able to get uh, that close that fast. Thank you for pushing that bomb fly into my knife. Otherwise, he could have been a bit of a hard sell there. 
Nope. 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 Thank you. Justice. Yes, please. All right. Extra little bit of HP. Polycephalus. Not really uh, much of a problem for us here. That's not that big of a problem, but I'd prefer if that didn't happen. Is this guy just not? He probably explodes when he dies. Yeah. Good reasoning there. I so easily would have just been like, let's just walk into him. Huh, I'm dead. Okay. Well, we wouldn't have died, but it would have been... It would have been annoying. Thank you, dry baby. Where are you at, dog? Dogs. Easy. Okay. We got to try this. See what's up with it. The two. I don't know what it does, and I'm so happy with my existing run. Okay, gotta kill the sources first. It's simple. We have to kill the babysitter. You guys like my Jim Carrey impression? Every Canadian has a rite of passage. Every Canadian male, at least. Uh, at the age of 16, they have to step in front of the Governor General of Canada and uh, do their best Jim Carrey impression to prove their allegiance to the, the flag. Uh... It's, it's probably the most harrowing moment of every young man's life. I know that there's some, like, tribes in South America where uh, they do pretty much the same thing, but instead of doing an impression of Jim Carrey, they shove their hand into a glove filled with, like, deadly bees. It's pretty much the s exact same thing, to be honest with you. I think I made the wrong decision there. Should have gone for the knife hit instead of the, the fire, you know? I thought I would be fine there. All right, that's okay. So my ideal, uh, my perfect Sunday right now, as we land that shit against Satan right in there, I really, really would prefer not to use the sun card if possible. So what's my thinking? Get in the corner here, and then we drop one of those fat red candles on it, and it does absolutely jack shit. Okay. Well, we've done a lot of damage. Unfortunately, we we have the Polaroid, but we're gonna have to use the sun card. We're gonna have to use this. Is this the end? I'm an idiot, I'm sorry. I really thought that that would open up uh, the, the path to the lamb. So I'm dumb. You can just tell me I'm dumb. I know I'm dumb. Such a good run, ruined. But hey, at least it didn't ruin our win streak. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you wanna see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.